Welcome to this tutorial on how to add an LC-APC connector to a fiber. According to customer specifications, FBGS provides fully connected fibers and splices LC-APC connectors. These connectors minimize back reflection. It means that the reflected light from the connection does not stay in the core, but leaks out into the cladding instead. This property hence supports a clearer reading of our gratings. Sometimes, you may have to add an LC-APC connector to a fiber yourself. In this video, we will show you how to do it. Let's jump into it. To reproduce this video, you will need a fiber, a cleaver, a splicer, an LC-APC connector set, a stripper, an assembly tool, as well as alcohol and delicate task wipers. The fiber used in this video has already been prepared, so we can focus on how to add the connector. If you do not know how to remove the coating, cleave, splice, or add tubing, watch our previous fiber hacks first. First, insert the boot over the fiber and tubing. Next, place the fiber into the splicer. Next, remove the ferrule from its packaging. Align the ferrule on the special fiber holder in the splicer by sliding the side wings into the corresponding location. Press set on the splicer and let him do the job. Once the process is finished, you can remove the fiber from the splicer. Next, remove the ferrule from the fiber holder. Slide the tubing over to the ferrule. Remove the stickers from the side wings. You can now glue the side wings to the fiber. Make sure that the tubing is at the correct position to be gripped by the side wings. Then remove the ferrule from its protection. Insert it into the LC APC connector. Press until the whole ferrule has disappeared. Then place the connector into the assembly tool and press firmly. Hold for a few seconds and release. Put the release clip on the connector. Pull the boot onto the backbone until the flange of the connector. When you have completed all the steps, you will obtain this result a fiber with an LC-APC connector. Our fiber hack. Be careful not to touch the tip of the ferrule before inserting it into the connector. Any contact could damage it and interfere with the light signals, which would lead to false readings. 